Okay, so paano naman daw kapag ka ang pre-consolidation pressure natin or PC is equal to 200 kPa. No? So, i-recall lang natin yung mga na-solve natin. So, yung PC daw natin, 200 kPa, no? However, ano ba yung mga P1 at P2 natin? So, yung initial effective stress natin, so, nasolve po natin uh, previously. Ito yun, no? Initial uh, effective stress, P1. So, nung nasolve natin siya, ito, 107.52. So, 107.52 kPa. And then, nung nagdagdag po tayo ng stress, or additional loading, change in delta P natin. So, nagkaroon tayo ng 157.52 kPa. So, sinabi na may pre-consolidation pressure daw tayo. So, therefore, i-assume na natin na itong ating diagram ay over-consolidated plane na. No? So, looking back, okay. Ito yung ating slope or diagram for uh, over-consolidated clay. So, sabi, yun daw PC natin, 200, okay, and then yung P2, P1 natin, P1, 107, P2 is 157.52. So, ibig sabihin, 157, so ano ba siya, mas malaki ba siya, or mas maliit dun sa 200? So, mas maliit siya dun sa 200, so therefore, yung P2 natin ay, nandito lang, no, 157.52, where in yung uh, P1 natin, or yung initial effective stress natin ay 107.52. So, therefore, yung ating uh, PO plus delta P, siya po ay mas maliit dun sa ating pre-consolidation pressure, kaya tayo ay mag analyze under case 1 po tayo. No? So, kapag case 1, ano ba yung slope natin? So, ang gagamitin po nating slope ay, okay, involving yung swell index natin. So, solving For letter B, okay, paano ba isasolve yung swell index natin? So, pwede siyang isolve, yung range natin ay 1 fifth ng cc to 1 tenth ng cc. Or pwede namang gawin din na pinagaraj and morty na cs or swell index. However, ah, dito sa ating problem, ayun, given na pala yung cs daw natin is equal to 1 fifth ng compression index. So, ito na yung ating gagamitin, okay? So, ayan, solving for our pre-consolidation pressure. So, again, yung slope po natin ay swell index. So, recalling yung ating basic settlement formula, it is equal to initial height ng ating soil sample times delta E all over 1 plus initial void ratio natin. So, yung ating gagamitin na delta E. So, we are dealing with swell index. So, therefore, CS logarithmic times P2 all over P1 natin. So, meron na tayong P1, nasolve na natin yung effective stress. So, meron na tayong P2, nasolve na natin yung effective stress plus change in delta P. So, ngayon naman, okay, yung CS natin, no? Yun yung hindi natin alam. Alam na natin yung H1 tsaka yung initial void ratio. Okay, so, bago tayo mag-solve, ipasok muna natin itong ating delta E dito sa ating basic settlement formula. So, ano ba yung H1 natin? Okay, initial height ng ating soil sample na may consolidation and then initial void ratio natin times CS log P2 over P1. So, ngayon solve na natin yung CS natin which is 1 fifth lang naman daw ng okay, ating compression index. So, ano ba yung nasolve natin na compression index? Diba gamit yung ating formula na 1 ninth lang nung no? Okay, 1 ninth. Ay, hindi pala, sorry. Na 0.09 pala ng ating uh, liquid limit minus 10, which is 0.27. Okay, so 0.27. One fifth lang daw ng 0.27. So, yung ating swell index should be equal to 0.054. So, ngayon, meron na tayong, okay, meron na tayong height, may initial void ratio, may CS, may P2, may P1. So, we can now immediately solve for our, okay, letter B. Situation letter B. Na. So, uh, input na natin yung mga values natin dito. So, yung mga values natin. Settlement caused by primary consolidation. Okay, initial height, 1 plus initial void ratio. So, tayo ay nasa case 
Therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay swelling index times logarithm po ng P2 over P1. Okay, so input lang natin yung ating mga values. So, yung H1 po natin, kung saan nag-occur yung ating consolidation layer, uh, consolidation po natin. So, yun yun initial height ng ating clay layer. So, T3 is equal to 8 meters. So, 8 all over 1 plus initial void ratio natin, 0 0.8 times yung CS natin. Ano ba yung CS natin? Ito yung CS and na-solve natin na siya ay 0 0.8. 0.54 times logarithmic po, logarithm ng ating P2 over P1 which is na-solve naman natin previously na yung P1 daw natin, ito, P1 daw natin ay 107.52 and then yung P2 natin additional lang po ng okay, change in delta P. Okay, so yung P1 natin 107.52 and then yung P2 plus delta P, so 57 0.52. Okay, so therefore, yung ating settlement caused by primary consolidation, considering na over-consolidated yung ating soil sample, so we will have 0 0.0398 meters or in millimeters, meron po tayong 39.8031 millimeters. Okay, so ito po yung ating pre-consolidation pressure ng case 1. Okay.